Hello everyone. Welcome back to Move Movies, New Year Blues. The long-awaited end of the year movie for 2020 was initially scheduled for December 30, 2020, a release date to align with the New Year's theme. Unfortunately, the film's release date was delayed due to COVID-19 blocking restrictions in Korea last year. As a result, the movie was only released in both Singapore and South Korea from February 11th, making it just in time for a Lunar New Year or Valentine's Day movie. When I first read the synopsis and saw the trailer, it gave me a similar vibe to New Year's Eve 2011 and Valentine's Day 2010 movies, both rom-coms showing couples' lives before the New Year or Valentine's Day. It was quite refreshing to see Korean movie, which featured a spectacular actor. I will not go into the details of the story, as it would be a spoiler but in simple words, it is a fairly light-hearted movie, capable of making you relate to it in some way. The movie touched on many small but important aspects of life, covering stories with themes related to breakups, loneliness, healing, multicultural marriage, and also the search for the meaning of life. The simple everyday moments definitely make you relatable and could possibly make you feel thoughtful as well. Another aspect of the movie that I really enjoyed was that I was able to relieve the memories of the trip while watching the movie. Being deprived of travel for the past year, seeing cell scenes and locations on a big screen, with Namson Tower in the background, definitely brought some warmth to my heart and reminded me how much I wanted to be there. There was another story with a ski field and it reminded me of snow and my skiing experiences. Plus, the cast even flew to Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina for the movie. Many beautiful destinations were featured, including the famous San Majestic Agazu Falls. I'm not sure about you, but it felt really good to enjoy traveling while watching a movie. Overall, lighthearted romance filled with balanced comedy, the cast was amazing and the plot was slow at first, but it slowly gained momentum and got me hooked on the last part. It was a lighthearted movie, kind of a slice of life, with four different couple stories, in which all the characters are linked to each other, but not really, as not the entire cast was in one scene. The ending was pretty vague, which made me think there will be a season two, but that doesn't seem plausible. Also, this movie gave run-on vibes with Soo Young in it.